What's going on everybody? I hope y'all are having a great day. Don't mind my voice. I was working around some mold the other day and I think that's what caused this. But today is the last day you're ever going to see the 390 Duke. So a couple weeks ago, I got a message from Tina on Instagram and she said her boyfriend Danny was a fan of the channel and that he was interested in buying the Duke. So we went back and forth, talked about price, and then we came to an agreement. So it ended up being cash plus trade. I don't think you guys will have any idea what I'm trading it for. And yeah, it's a super clean bike. In the original listing that I posted, of this bike i said i had like 6,000 miles or something i don't know where i got that from but yeah there's only 3,318 miles on it it's pretty much a brand new bike so i hope they get some enjoyment out of it and yeah she's headed out of ohio so probably won't ever see this bike again but we'll talk more about my feelings on the 390 duke later uh, let's get this thing cleaned up Well, other than the tires, which I can rub off on the road, the Duke's looking pretty good. It's definitely the cleanest set it's been since it's been in the shop. But yeah, this is it. Say goodbye. Let's hop on this bike and get one last ride in. It's going to be a pretty brisk ride this morning. Well, you guys, this is it. This is the last ride of the Duke. I am kind of sad to see it go. I really enjoyed this bike. As you guys know, I'm a firm believer in that it's fun to ride a slow bike fast. And don't get me wrong, this is a quick bike. This isn't slow by any means, but in my opinion, it really does have the perfect amount of power to have fun with, and it's usable power. That's the key. I cannot feel my hands right now. Woo -wee. My face is cold too. It's about like 38 degrees right now. It's not too bad when you're just cruising around the city, but wide open here are these country roads. It's, it's cold. to cover up my wrist right now that's the only thing that's bothering me because it's fully exposed and honestly at this temperature you could probably get frostbite so i'm riding one hand and leaned over the tank here watch out for those potholes not too long ago i came across the chart that actually broke down the different mile per hour temperatures basically it's just the wind chill that you encounter while you're riding all right thank god we slowed down to about 35 miles an hour the velcro on those jackets worn out so I, these don't stay tight too long but I'm good now. But back to what I was saying, this bike really does have the perfect amount of power for the riding that I like to do. I'm not a jigsaw bra. I don't like to, you know, do pulls on the freeway at, you know, 130 miles an hour. That's not my thing. So the fast acceleration, the, the nimbleness of this, and what's going on here? Some dude's about to get his door broke down. If I hear shots going off, I'm out of here. I'll put this thing on the sidewalk. I'll take it off road, I don't care. We got some free furniture. I need that. Now we just gotta wait for him to show up. Well, you guys, this is it. The van's pulling up and the Duke is goodbye. How you doing? She doesn't want to be on video. Okay, I like, will put, put her on video. You can put me, it's no okay, problem. sweet. How you doing? What's up, bro? All away from the Bronx. Yeah. That's awesome. It's a long trip, man. Oh, I bet. Oh, let me tell you, man. It's, it's long drive over here. A whole lot of nothing. You didn't come just for the bike, did you? Yeah. You did? Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh my god! <laughs> Why? It's 
so funny. Okay, ready? Two stroke. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Thank you. Thanks, bud. Thanks for coming out. Thank you. Of course. Right. Appreciate it. Well, it is the next day since we sold the Duke. As you can hear, I'm still not 100% yet, but we're getting better. First off, I just want to give a huge shout out to Tina and Danny who came all the way from the Bronx just to buy the Duke. I thought they were going on vacation and they were going to stop along the way but I mistook their words of a road trip for literally driving from the Bronx all the way to Ohio just to buy the Duke. So I wish the best to both of them. Awesome people, very nice. I wish we could have spent more time together, but they had to head back to New York and that drive is no joke. But Danny right away, he said that he just, you know, felt like he knew me and I felt the same way. Like we shared that common connection and that is exactly why I enjoy doing this stuff so much and it's so awesome to put a face to people behind the comments. But he pulled up in my dream van. He had a Ford Transit work van. It was the high top XL, had the EcoBoost. It was sweet and that's the first time that I've got to stand in one and I can stand up full length, no problem. I still have like six inches of headroom. So the newer transits are a little bit out of my price range. I'm still looking at like the 06 or previous year Sprinter, but if I found the right deal, I would absolutely get one of the newer transits with the EcoBoost. But back to Tina and Danny, we got to hang out for about 30 minutes while we were loading the bike up, dealing with the title and all that. And it was just awesome. They got to meet the family as well. So that was just a really cool experience. Couldn't have gone to a better home. Hopefully we'll get some updates from Danny and the 390 Duke. He also has a Gixxer 7 50 I believe it was and I think he's gonna have a lot of fun on that bike I know I sure did Alexis did everybody who rode the Duke really enjoyed the bike You guys know my feelings on the 390 Duke So I'm not gonna get too much further into it, but my closing thoughts. It's an amazing machine It's seriously the perfect amount of power to weight and for the roads that we have around here and the type of riding that I do It was the perfect bike and who knows maybe we'll get one in the future. Maybe not. I enjoyed it I hope he enjoys it. Thanks again Tina and Danny. I appreciate it. That brings me to my my next point not only did we sell it but we traded the duke for something else so without further ado we traded the 390 duke for this So as it turns out, Danny is a fellow RC enthusiast. Actually, Tina as well, she enjoys it. So this ended up being a part of the deal and I was pretty excited about it because I love the TRX4. I actually had a sport. I don't think I ever showed it much on the channel, but I got it for Alexis to play with and I sold it about, I don't know, four or five months ago, and it was the blue one, so I'm happy to have the red one. Everybody seems to like the red one more. I didn't quite understand why until I saw this, and I really like it. So as you can see, he's done a few things to it. He has the rack on top. The roof rack extends the full length, and you have the different utility items on the side. You got the gas tanks, fire extinguisher, you got an ax, you got a shovel, you got a high lift jack on the other side, and I don't remember the correct name for it, but if you get stuck, they have these little plates that you use to help you get out. And it actually looks like you can use them. So we might have to find a better mounting system other than those Allens so we can play with them in the field. But also it came with two bumpers. The front one he already installed and it has the headlights built in. So I think all we need now is the LEDs themselves to get everything lit up. He did not install the rear tail lights yet. So we'll have to do that at some point. But he said there's a few scratches on it and I don't see any of that. This thing looks brand new. The body's perfectly straight and it's definitely a lot more rigid with this rack on here. And I'm a fan, I really like it. it came with a remote as well but back when I got my X Max which I've still haven't shown on the channel yet drop a comment below if you want to see the video on the X Max but my X Max came with a receiver that had the Traxxas link on it so I robbed the Traxxas link out of the X Max controller and installed it on my TRX4 Defender controller which actually has the joystick up here to control the differentials so I have all three of my RC's paired to this one remote so it's pretty nice to only have to pick up one remote radio excuse me I'm not an RC enthusiast, by the way. I just like to play around now and then when I get bored. But it's definitely fun to have in the winter, so look forward to that. I had tons of fun playing around in the snow, especially with the light kit. Maybe we can get a scale plow to put on this thing. I'd like to get some scale bodies as well. Maybe do a Jeep Cherokee XJ like I have out there. So we just went through daylight savings, and where I'm at, it gets dark around like 536 right now. So... We don't have much time left. I want to play with this thing. It's the perfect activity to do when I'm feeling down. So without further ado, let's get this thing outside, get some cool shots, and have a good time. <laughs>
Well, you guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching. Once again, shout out to Tina and Danny. Awesome people. I'm glad it worked out, and I really hope you enjoy the Duke. I had a blast playing with the TRX4. I love these things. If you guys enjoy the RC content at all, be sure to leave a comment down below and let me know so I can put more of it in the videos in the future. That being said, thank you all for watching. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video. Still doing these daily uploads, so until tomorrow, I'll see you then.